Yeah, Rick Wilson here. I was just driving down this road here, Holland Road, and I come by this house, and all of a sudden I spotted a fairy ring. These things are so rare. You just, I, this is actually the biggest and the for one of the first I've ever seen that wasn't just a really small fairy ring. Um, they're only supposed to be able to get 10 feet, but this one here has got to be every bit of 15 to 20 feet. They're not supposed to get these big, this big. And these things are supposed to be magical. And they're supposed to bring good fortune to the people that live over here in this house. So they're going to have good fortune now. I was just speaking to the lady that this, this ring had appeared in a couple years before, but it was much, much smaller. And she said it, and her father just died a month ago, and then this thing appears in the yard. And, and uh, now let me give you the scientific aspect. Now somewhere out here in the center at one time was a clump of the mushrooms that grew, and then they used up all the nutrients in that little circle. So then the following year they start growing in a ring at the edge of that circle. And, they, and as they use up the nutrients, they just spread outward in a giant ring. But they normally don't get this size. Okay, this thing, I have never heard of one being this size. Ten feet supposed to be the biggest. And, uh, but this thing has got to be every bit of 20 feet across and it is a full circle circle a lot of them as they get bigger they just turn into a semi-circle and and then the mushrooms grow in an arc but this one as you can see there's mushrooms all the way around there's more on this side than there is on this side but it does do a complete circle now uh, now different people there in the past there's been stories about these they're supposed to be it's a fairy ring they're supposed to be magical and uh, some people say that this circle if you dig the edge of the circle down you can find your way down into the underworld but i'm going to test out the uh, the magic part of this here let's just check this out now they say if you cross into one of these fairy rings and if you spend too much time you will slowly turn into a fairy. Uh, whoa, what happened to my voice? Oh my gosh. This is weird. This is magic. I'm telling you. I don't know about this. This fairy voice. La, 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 la. Oh my gosh, I gotta get back to normal voice. Let me get out here. See here. Oh, there, there. Now I'm back, back to normal. Oh, that's kind of freaky having that voice. But you can also make wishes. Let's see what. Let me go in here, back in. Back to the fairy voice. I'm gonna make a wish. I'm gonna make a wish that I got a normal voice inside the fairy ring. Wow, let's see. Okay, there, now, now my voice sounds normal while I'm inside the fairy ring. See, the wish came true. But. If my voice sounds normal now inside the fairy ring, when I should sound like a fairy, what happens now if I step out? Let me step out of this fairy ring. Now, let's see. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh, I cannot have a voice like this. Oh no, oh, oh I don't like this at all. I want to go back in. Now I wish my voice was more like a fairy. There, there, I got my normal voice back. I'm out of the magic zone, but look at this. This is something. Let me move on around here. So anyway, it's pretty cool. Fairy ring, very, very rare. And I've never, ever heard of one this size. So anyway, uh, we'll get back to my other travel videos now, and we'll see y'all later.